Hello and welcome to the first in a series of Charlotte's Batman Twirling Tutorials where in the first tutorial we're going to be going through the three basic twirls. First up we're going to be learning platters, second pinwheel and third figure of eight. So firstly for platters you want to start by holding your baton in the vertical position and slowly start rotating it so that the big end stays on top and little stays on bottom or vice versa. And eventually you want to be able to increase the revolution size so that the baton becomes pretty much horizontal and that makes and that is what we call the platter. And eventually you'll be holding it just by the fingertips which makes it that much easier to twirl. And you should be able to do platters um, in both the forwards and backwards direction and in both your right and your left hand. Next we have the pinwheel, which you also start by holding the baton in a vertical position, however you are also twirling vertically rather than horizontally. You want to make sure the big end and the little end stay on opposite sides of your arm, just like in platters. So the big end stays on one side and the little end stays on the other side. If you're struggling with this, you can always try moving the baton around using your opposite hand just to get used to the motion that you should be making with your hand. Um, and also for the pinwheel, it makes it that tiny bit easier if you um, hold the baton between your fingers because then you don't get the rough robotic movement of your wrist, you get the nice smooth movement that can be created with your fingers. And this is what we call the pinwheel. And lastly we have the figure of eight which is very similar to how the pinwheel happens however you want to start by holding the baton in between your, the gap between your thumb and your forefinger and as you begin to rotate the baton you're aiming to open up your hand so that your palm begins to face um, upwards. This makes the movement slightly easier and a little more comfortable. Um, so you want to start by doing one rotation to the left hand side and then another to the right hand side of your body so the baton kind of snakes across in front of you. And once you've got used to that movement, you want to try and even it out slightly so that your arm doesn't move as much and most of the work is being done just by your wrist. Okay, and that is the end of today's tutorial. If you have any requests for any other skills, please drop a comment below and I'll uh, see you next time.